Now for this part of the question then we've got to find the vector a to x and we established in the previous part that x had coordinates 10, 0, 11. So how do I get from a to x? Well what I need to do is just literally consider the vector o to a and the vector o to x and so it's very easy to get a to x from that because all we need to do is say that a to x is essentially equal to o to x minus o to a. This is a standard result. When you want to go from one place to another, you can go via the origin as o to the last letter minus o to the first letter. If you're unsure of that, I'll show you just at the end how that works. But for the moment, okay, we've just got o to x then is going to be the vector 10 naught 11. So you've got 10 naught 11 and then we just put that as a column vector minus o to a which is going to be minus 6 4 minus 1 minus 6 4 minus 1 so subtract the two vectors from one another and what you've got is 10 minus minus 6 which is 16 naught minus 4 is minus 4 and 11 minus minus 1 is 12 okay so that is the vector a to x. Now I did show, say to you, I'll show you why you get this result, just in case you're not sure. Basically, you can take the long route round and say that going from a to x is the same as going from a to o. So we'll just say a to o, followed by o to x. So followed by is plus, so o to x. Now, when you're going from A to O, that's the opposite direction to going from O to A. So it would be the opposite of this vector, which is then minus O to A, plus then the O to X. And then all you need to do is just turn or swap these two vectors around and you've got O to X minus O to A. So this is a standard result try and learn it okay if you want to go from one place to another via the origin it's o to the last letter minus o to the first letter okay